We're now going to look at how to create a fixture within the pixel map. To do that, come down to the bottom here, make sure profile is selected and choose the add new button. If you then select your fixture at the bottom down here, on the right hand side, we have our fixture properties. Now we can give our fixture a name. So we've just got this LED strip, as you can see. And the manufacturer, I'm going to just leave as generic. In the layout, we then have two options, linear array and freeform. For this section of the video, we're going to look at linear array. We then have the element count with columns and rows. Now, our fixture, as you can see, has one column as it's one LED wide. We then have 28 rows, as there is 28 LEDs in one line. The element size is the physical size of the lens or the LED. So for instance, if you had a Parkan, it'll be the size of the entire Parkan. Here, we've just got a single LED. So the element size is one centimeter by one centimeter. The element spacing is the distance from the centre of one pixel to the centre of the other. So, if these two elements were touching each other, you would end up with a one centimetre element spacing because it's the centre of one to the edge of one is half a centimetre and the edge of one to the centre of the other is another half a centimetre. So, if you add these two together, you'll get one centimetre. Now, the gap between our fixtures is actually two and a half centimetres and because each of our elements is one centimetre that will make our element spacing 3.5 centimetres. We then have a choice of encoding. So here we have 8-bit, 16-bit or 16-bit Little Indium. Now these fixtures are simple 8-bit fixtures. If you did have a 16-bit fixture you could simply select 16-bit from the encoding options. Next, we have the colour space. In here, we have RGB, RGBA, RGBW and RGBAW, as well as many, many others. Now, these particular fixtures are actually GRB. So, if we scroll down, we can find this from the list. Underneath the colour space, we have the orange in. So, this is where the fixture will start. Now these fixtures start in the bottom left and then they snake around. So I'm going to change this origin to the bottom left. And then how do we want it to repeat? So we can do horizontal repeat at the end. So once it gets to the end, it will just repeat. We can flip it at the end, vertical repeat at the end or vertical flip. So if we choose vertical flip, this should get all of our fixtures in the right order. Special channels are used for channels such as strobe or effects channels. So for instance, you might have a lighting fixture which is RGBA, but then have an effect channel on it. Now the effect channel may be before or after the colour elements, but will need to be set at a specific level in order for you to control it. This means we can add in an effect channel and set it to a default level. You also have the option here to export the fixture. Clicking export We'll export it as an XML file for you to import later on. Once all your fixture properties are set correctly, you'll need to add them to the map. To do this, simply click Add Mode and click in the map. Now, once Add Mode is selected, every time you click, a new fixture will be added. So it is important, once we have added all of the fixtures we wish to add, to turn off Add Mode by clicking it again. Now, if we select our fixture, again, on the right hand side, we have the properties of where our fixture is positioned. Now, we know that this fixture wants to be positioned in the center. This will be our reference fixture. So we can work out where each of the other fixtures need to go. So this is at 25 centimeters, as our whole canvas is 50 wide, and it's 50 centimeters in the middle, as our canvas is 100 tall. So the next fixture here, we'll want to add at 35 centimeters, 
as I know there is a 10 centimeter gap between each fixture. This one we will add at 45 centimeters. Again, at 50 centimeters. If we wish to add all of these fixtures at 50 centimeters, we could type in the Y box 50 and it will change them all at the same time. We can check these ones are in the right place by clicking on them individually. And this one will be at five. Now all of our fixtures are in the right place. We need to check that the patch is correct. So you can see here, we can see this one is at 1, 1. This one is at 1, 85. 1, 69. 1, 23. And 1, 3, 3, 7. We can also change the rotation here if we need to.